A straight stitch throat plate comes with the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2. Now, when you slide off the accessory box, you will see that it actually has a place for it to be stored right at the underneath side. So to get it out, you just need to slide it to the right and lift out. But I wanna show you something really neat about this throat plate. So start by taking the bobbin case door off and I actually take the bobbin out because if I don't, my thread kind of gets tangled up. So I'm gonna slide off the throat plate. That's the zigzag throat plate. And when I slide this on, we're gonna be able to see that the machine is going to limit everything for our stitching. So we won't accidentally break any needles here. So why do we want to use a straight stitch? stitch throat plate. So here, let's just pick zigzag. It says machine is set for straight stitch with center needle position. Deselect the stitch with safety in the settings and or remove the straight stitch throat plate. So as soon as I put that on, it knows that I can't be zigzagging with, or doing a decorative stitch with that plate on. I love it. When you turn the machine on, same thing. It remembers that that is in place. So a straight stitch throat plate, you're going to use that when you free motion quilt oh my gosh, it just stabilizes that needle so much better as it's going through all those layers, plus the batting and the back, um, any steam allowances, and then guiding that needle perfectly so it can hook up with that bobbin at the exact position. With free motion quilting, you're moving in left, right, all different directions, and usually at a high rate of speed. So if you're ever getting skip stitches with your free motion quilting, make sure you have your straight stitch throat plate on. I'm a fan of top stitch needles. Those are the ones that work for me when I machine quilt. The other time to put it on is when you're embroidering. That is a great time to have that needle also be guided. Not that the hoop moves so much that the needle is getting pushed and pulled in all those directions, but it does make everything much, much smoother. Now, the other thing to do, because you won't accidentally pick a zigzag at all, is any time that you are working with your quarter inch foot where the needle can only go right in the center needle position. And any deviation would, of course, break your needle if it was this foot was left on and you went to stitch. So even if you were to leave this plate on and stitch with your quarter inch foot, you can actually go in to the settings and set this in the temporary sewing settings, you can turn on the stitch width safety. And that would be so you didn't overstep your foot that you actually have on that day. So there's lots of ways to do it, but partnering your quarter inch foot with your straight stitch throat plate is a great option if you want a perfect stitch.